Hi everyone, this is Sherry. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draw a Basset Hound. Uh, I'm going a little bit different direction this time than most of my other videos. Uh, you're going to start with a box. And the reason why is uh, for proportion, uh, to make sure that the dog is standing correctly, because this is you know, a full body dog here we're doing, not just the head shot or a bust. Um, and this is the boxes, like kind of like starting with a block of marble and then sculpting out of that. So these circles you see here that I'm drawing at the bottom corners of the box are going to be the feet, and then I'm filling in a oval shape for the body and a head shape here, circle shape for the head. And this is just to make sure that everything lines up appropriately. Like see here, I'm moving my little foot again. It's so much easier to fix your proportions um, in the beginning of the drawing than later on when you started getting into the details. So um, you can see I had to move a few of the, the feet around. Oh, that's looking alright. So now this is my block basset hound, block circle basset hound. Uh, now I'm drawing in the the shoulders here and then the legs and joints connecting the body to the feet. Again, simple shapes, just lines and circles. Um, if you're familiar with the drawing, the early tutorials I did on the drawing teacher's website, this is how I did uh, like say a cat drawing or a puppy. Um, kind of broke down the whole animal into into simple shapes and then just break it down into more shapes. And since I don't really need that box anymore, I'm just erasing all those lines. That way uh, it's easier to see what my next step will be. And I um, just want to make sure everything's in place before I start filling in the meat of the body here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start working on the head some. I envisioned the Basset Hound face to look kind of like a kind of like a mailbox, uh, like a three-dimensional mailbox for this nose. Um, Basset Hound's really droopy, so he's got droopy looking eyes. I'm giving him a big nose, just a upside down triangle there in, at the top of the front of the mailbox shape. And now I'm drawing in his mouth. And I think uh, this Basset Hound should have a smile, so I'm giving him one. They look all droopy and sad so much of the time. I think I should have a happy Basset Hound. I'm sure they're quite quite cheerful dogs. They just look sad in the pictures. And now you can see here I'm drawing this funky shape above the eyes. This is just the eyebrow uh, because Basset Hounds have all these wrinkles and folds. Um, you know, I'm just drawing all these blocks, blocky shapes over the eyes to uh, tie that in. There we go. There's the ear. And it's just a big oblong shape here. They've got long droopy ears. And the neck. And then I'm starting to work on the right shoulder and leg here. I'm working my way from top to bottom. I also happen to be right handed so it kind of works easier for me to work from the top left and go down to the right. Uh, if you're left-handed, uh, it might be a little bit trickier. Uh, you might want to try, if you're left-handed, you could try right, uh, drawing it the other direction where you have the the head on the right side of your paper instead of the left side. Uh, you can still use the same principles here.
and I'm feeling out a little bit more of the body now of the Basset Hound. Here's some more of the shoulder on the left side. Okay. Giving him a bit of a belly. Round him out. This is a healthy Basset Hound. He eats well. They've got short little legs. And I want to make sure that the tip of the tail is about evenly aligned with the top of the head. That's why you saw that mark there. Working a little more on the, the left ear and the shoulder there. Also to see where it separates the neck um, from the rest of the body. And now I'm starting to draw in the paws a bit. A little more finessing on the legs. You may have noticed that I didn't include uh, the right hind foot. Uh, this is just because uh, it would have cluttered up the image if I had tried to do so. I mean, naturally it probably would have been there, but it would have been a hassle to include in the drawing, so I just said, forget about it. We'll stick with the the first three that you know are in plain view and I'm going back to work on the eyes now and filling them in um, trying to make them look big and endearing which I think I was able to pull off pretty well this time dog eyes are really neat I've been um, looking up dogs a lot lately so I could do some more dog drawing tutorials for you guys and I think I understand part of the appeal of dogs is that their eyes are very similar to our own you know they're very expressive um, you can tell when they're looking left and right just like a human and um, they really are precious anyway I'm done with the drawing part, so I'm just going to outline my Basset Hound. This one's a lot more detailed than uh, some of my previous tutorials. Um, it's a big step forward, I must say, especially since this is a, uh, a full dog drawing here. I want to be doing more of that. Uh, I do enjoy uh, teaching, you know, faces dog faces, cat faces, but um, you know there's so much variety when it comes to body types and fur um, so I'm looking forward to expanding um, my collection if you will of videos. I'm give them some droopy eyes too. Don't forget to put a little sag under the eyes and some whisker dots and you can see I'm taking my time you know I'm in no rush to try to get this drawing done I want to make sure that I trace all of the lines properly. Um, don't want to go so fast that I mess it up because then I'd have to start all over or get some white out. I used to do that a lot when I finished drawing something in ink. I would grab the white out and white out any any mistakes that I made. Which, it'll work, but it doesn't look as clean. Here we go. That's all the tracing done. So now, take my kneaded eraser. It's all stretchy and gummy. And erase away. And I know it looks so messy before... Um, you know, I traced it, and even then when I traced over it with the Sharpie pen, it still looked kind of funny. But now you can see there's the Basset Hound's face, which is so adorable. And it 
it's really starting to come together now. This is one of the fun parts of doing these drawings is um, taking away all of the the excess the framework and letting the final piece shine through. I'm having to be extra careful while erasing. Um, sometimes the camera, uh, we try to get it set up so it's secure, but uh, you know we have to move the camera around a bit, so we have to readjust and reset everything. So uh, I'm having to go kind of slow with the erasing. Sorry about that. Uh, that's just so the camera doesn't shake too badly. I know you can probably tell it's shaking right now. But we get better at this as we do more videos. And it's fun. I enjoy doing this. It takes me a while to get to it, but I do enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoy it. There you go. Beautiful cartoon Basset Hound by Sherry, yours truly. So let me know in the comments section what you think of this lesson. Tell me if you liked it, didn't like it. Um, would love to hear some more ideas on what other drawing tutorials uh, you'd like to see me do. Uh, I'm starting to get to where I can take requests again. Um, also, I've started up a blog. If you guys want to follow along my personal life, I post a few things about my family and what I'm doing when I'm not preparing drawing lessons for y'all. Anyway, um, y'all have a great day and happy drawing.